welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway. You probably know that by now if you've seen all my other videos. I'm here every day with an On This Day in Tudor History event. Um, I'm founder of the Amberlynn Files and Tudor Society websites and also author of several history books. Now, today I'm going to uh, take you back to a rather horrible event for on this day in Tudor history, the 4th of February, 1555, um, John Rogers, who was a Protestant clergyman and also a biblical editor, was burnt at the stake in, um, at Smithfield in London. Rogers has gone down in history as being the first English Protestant burned in um, Mary I's reign. Of course, Mary I um, has gone down in history as Bloody Mary. Whether or not you think that that is um, a suitable, appropriate name for her, um, we do have, you know, the burning of heretics in her reign. We have the burnings of heretics in other Tudor monarchs' reigns as well. Um, but he was the first English Protestant burned in Mary's reign. He refused the chance of a last-minute pardon if he recanted, and he died with courage. Um, now, Rogers, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about him. Rogers had met um, William Tyndall, who, of course, is the famous Bible translator, Rogers had met him in Antwerp while Rogers was serving as a chaplain in Antwerp to the English merchants out there. Um, and after Tyndall's execution, Rogers was able to save what Tyndall had been working on, the translations he'd been working on. He managed to collect together Tyndall's work before it was um, destroyed. And he assembled, he, he took it and he used it along with um, translations done by another Bible translator, Miles Coverdale, he put all of their work together to make a complete Bible, Old Testament and New Testament. And this work was printed, this Bible was printed in Antwerp in 1537 as the Thomas Matthews Bible, taking its name from Thomas and Matthew, two of Christ's disciples. John Rogers then returned to England in 1548, and when Mary I came to the throne, of course she was Catholic, he was a reformer, he was Protestant. When she came to the throne, his Protestant faith led to him being ordered to remain in his house, um, house arrest, and then being imprisoned. He was eventually tried and condemned to death as a heretic, and hence we have him being burned at the stake on this day in 1555. Martyrologist John Fox, who wrote um, Acts and Monuments or um, the Book of Martyrs, recorded um, John Rogers' execution. Now when the time came that he, being delivered to the sheriffs, should be brought out of Newgate to Smithfield, the place of his execution, first came to him Master Woodruff, probably Woodruff, one of the aforesaid sheriffs, and calling Master Rogers unto him, asked him if he would revoke his abominable doctrine and his evil opinion of the sacrament of the altar. Master Rogers answered and said, That which I have preached I will seal with my blood. Then, cried Master Woodruff, thou art a heretic. That shall be known, quoth Rogers, at the day of judgment. Well, quoth Master Woodruff, I will never pray for thee. But I will pray for you, quoth Master Rogers. And so was brought the same day, which was Monday the 4th of February, by the sheriffs towards Smithfield, saying the psalm miserere, by the way, all the people wonderfully rejoicing at his constancy, with great praises and thanks to God for the same. And there, in the presence of Master Rochester, controller of the Queen's household, Sir Richard Southall, both the sheriffs and a wonderful number of people, the fire was put unto him. And when it had taken hold both upon his legs and shoulders, he, as one feeling no smart, 
washed his hands in the flame as though it had been in cold water. And after lifting up his hands unto heaven, not removing the same until such time as the devouring fire had consumed them, most mildly this happy martyr yielded up his spirit into the hands of his heavenly father. A little before his burning at the stake, his pardon was brought if he would have recanted, but he utterly refused. He was the first proto-martyr of all the blessed company that suffered in Queen Mary's time, that gave the first adventure upon the fire. His wife and children being eleven in number and ten able to go, and one sucking on her breast, met him by the way as he went towards Smithfield. This sorrowful sight of his own flesh and blood could nothing move him, but that he constantly and cheerfully took his death with wonderful patience in the defence and quarrel of Christ's gospel. So whatever you feel about his faith and whether he was a heretic or not, this man certainly died with courage and deserves to be known as a martyr. So that was on this day in Tudor history, 4th of February 1555, the burning of the first English Protestant in the reign of Queen Mary I. A horrible event to share with you, but I do hope you managed to have a good day after hearing this. Take care. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.